Melissa. Hello, friends. Thank you for clicking on my video today and joining me. This is a bit of a haul video for you. It is um, of items that I've ordered over the past several weeks, if not months. A couple of these boxes have been sitting on the side um, because I like the clothing from J. Jill and uh, they've had some good sales lately. So I actually have three boxes of things that I've ordered from J. Jill. The first one included um, this lovely sweater. This is a tunic length, length sweater and it's just a nice long knit sweater in kind of an icy gray color. I actually already have this in a lavender color and these are good for when life returns to somewhat normal. My office at my proper office at my company that I work for tends to be a little chilly. So I wear long sleeves in the middle of the summer to work. And so this is a good weight for that. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It has a beautiful knit pattern in it and one that I know that I already like because I already have it in another color. So got that and this almost matches it. I can wear it together kind of as a set. This is kind of a long tunic t-shirt. It's in a gray floral, a gray and white floral. It's just a regular cotton t-shirt, crew neck, and tunic length, which I love. I wear this with leggings and um, skirts and blue jeans and whatever. Um, I actually have a white linen skirt that this would probably be cute with as well for the summer. So I got that. It's got these beautiful kind of bell sleeves on it uh, that are um, kind of three quarter sleeves, I guess, or half sleeves. So this is one that I'm excited to wear. I bought a pair of pants. These are uh, just a cotton knit pant. They are cargo style, which I thought was kind of neat. And again, I have these in another color from J. Jill. And this again is a khaki color. I have them in, I think kind of a terracotta color. They are so comfortable. It's got an elastic waist. It's a uh, drawstring so that you can custom fit them around your waist. And again, it's got side pockets and cargo style. So it's got the pockets on the side. Uh, these are really comfy and they're nice looking even though they are kind of a sweatpants material. Uh, they're nice enough that you could wear them to work if you work in a kind of business casual environment. Last but not least, in this particular order, I have a t-shirt dress. This is just a simple crew neck t-shirt dress, kind of an A-line style. It's, you probably can't tell very well in the uh, screen, but it's kind of a hunter green, a really dark green. And it's hard to tell if the flowers on here are white or kind of a light blue color, but it is really, really pretty and cute and one that I will get a lot of wear out of. So I'm excited about that. I love a cute little cotton dress like the one I have on. I have lots of these for the summer and enjoy wearing them. So that was the first box from J. Jill that I have. The second order didn't have quite as much in it, um, but it's one I'm really excited about because if you know me personally, you know that I have been turned on to their pajamas and gowns at J. Jill. I uh, absolutely love them. And I ordered for myself a new set of pajamas. Got little shorts here, pajama shorts and a cute blue floral pattern and got a matching top to go with it. Uh, it's actually a tank top to go with it. Again, these were on sale. I think I paid maybe um, $12 a piece for these. It wasn't, wasn't hardly anything at all. Yeah, I paid $17 for one and $20 for the other. And these are, these are gonna last a, a long time, you can tell. They're very well made, uh, much more well made than what you're gonna find at Old Navy or 
um, Walmart or Target. To me, if you can get them on sale like that when they're in the teens and low 20s, for me, it's worth it. And I just go ahead and try to stock up in all colors. This right here is what they call a compassion tea. Uh, this is uh, one of the things they do. I don't know the full story behind it or how I got started, but I think the compassion fund and the compassion teas, as in t-shirt, are uh, proceeds uh, from that go to a charitable um, organization. So I got this, this was also $17 and some change. It's in an off-white color and one that is, uh, will be a good basic to have in my wardrobe. Now, I had someone comment on a previous haul video that they'd like to see some of these things modeled. I am working on getting that set up where I can actually model some of these things for you. And you can see what they look like on, but I don't have that set up quite yet. So um, you're gonna have to use your imagination. But what I'll do is if any of these items are still available online, I will put those down below uh, for you and you can click on them and see if they have your size. And if so, then you can, Go and purchase them yourself. Next up is a also a knit dress. This is a micro pleated knit dress in a navy color. It is sleeveless. It's belted. It has a cloth belt around the middle, and it is kind of just a boat neck uh, micro pleated. I'm not sure that you can get the full effect of the micro pleating in that. Very beautiful, again, just in a solid navy color, very soft fabric. This will be a good basic dress that can be dressed up or dressed down. And one that I can see is going to be a hard worker in my wardrobe. Again, I'm thinking about when I return back to work as normal and I'm back in the office. And this is definitely something I can wear in the office with heels, with a blazer over the top of it if I need to be dressed up or I can dress it down with sandals. And that is kind of exciting. Get this box out of the way. And next is a beautiful dress. This is a cotton knit dress. Look at these colors and print. This is a pink background with blue flowers on it. It is a halter style, just cotton knit dress. Let me get it the right way for you. Yeah, there we go. So it's halter style, cotton knit dress, cool for the summer. It's a maxi dress, so it goes down. Look at how these kick pleats are finished with this extra kind of border around it. It's a beautiful dress and a in a beautiful shade of pink with uh, navy flowers. Again, something that can uh, be used and dressed up if you need to. And then I can't remember what this is. Let's see. If this is going to be a top or if it's going to be a dress. Oh, it's a top. Okay, so this is a dress top. It is a navy blue background with pink and light blue flowers in it. It's kind of a peasant top. It's gathered up, smocked at the top, and it has um, balloon sleeves, if you will, on it that are kind of three-quarter sleeves. It is really, really pretty. And let's see, it was only $28 on this ticket. Um, so it was um, something that I thought would look cute. I have some pink capri pants that I thought this would look cute with. And it is um, really pretty. It's a knit fabric, but it's kind of a slub knit. So it's kind of thin. It looks like it's gonna hang rather loosely and free. So that is something I'm excited about. Now for the little knickknacks. 
I ordered a new mask. Now, in the state that I live, uh, the mask mandate has gone away. Uh, but in my office, uh, the office that I will be returning to for right now, when we need to go into the office, we are still observing the masks. So I bought a fresh mask. And this one's a little different because it's made and cut a little bit higher right here for your nose and cut lower here so you don't feel like it's right getting in your eyes. So I kind of liked that style. And then I bought some jewelry items. Again, these were probably $11 to $12 a piece. This is a Compassion Fund necklace. Uh, this was a Compassion Fund necklace. It's a layered necklace with little hearts on it. That'll be pretty with these new clothes. Let's see, I love jewelry. Do you love jewelry? If you do, let me know down below. And let me know like what places you shop for jewelry at because I'm always looking for a good place. This is a long, I'm not gonna take this out because I may use this as a gift. This is a long necklace with a butterfly pendant. A butterfly pendant at the end, which is really cute might be a gift for someone. And then I have the earrings. I won't show you those. They're just smaller versions of the butterfly pendant. And then I have some more earrings. Oh, did I get two pairs of those? I think I got two pair of the same earring. I did. I got two pair of the butterfly earrings. So somebody will definitely be getting at least the earrings as a gift. So huh, that's funny. So that is my haul from J. Jill. A couple more boxes down here from other retailers. So let's see what is in these boxes. And bags. This, I don't know who this is from. There's no marking on the outside. Let's see. Oh, this is from QVC. I uh, ordered some t-shirts from them. And also, I think a, a, a crossover blouse. So these are a pair of chocolate brown capri pants. I think these are gonna be too big. They look like they're gonna be big. I'm going to put those to the side because I think those will get returned. But I ordered a teal colored t-shirt, which even if this is big, I'm keeping it because I love the color. This color is so good for me. It is, um, as you can see, in a teal color, and you can't tell I'm on. This is a good color for me. It makes my eyes really pop, and it matches my ring. Oh. What about that? Um, it's a square neck. It's a good basic t-shirt. Always need a good basic t-shirt. And this item, I don't know if this is going to fit or not. This is, I went out on a limb with this one. It's Isaac Masrahi. And I hope this will work. I'm going to have to see. It is kind of a wrap style top. And I bought it because it, the colors, I love color. And so it's got this, this beautiful magenta color in it. And then the bulk of it is these different shades of orange and it's trimmed with that magenta color. It just looks like a pretty top and it looks like something that would be neat looking. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile with the brown pants. I'm not sure those are going to work, but we will give it a try. Put these to the side since I may be doing a return on those. The J. Jill items, I know I'm keeping those, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, J. Jill, I normally have success for them, so I'm not too worried about those not working or not fitting. So 
last but not least, I have some makeup. Makeup! I love some makeup. I've done an order at Ulta and also at Sephora. And I have those items here. I'm actually really excited about this one from Sephora. I'm surprised I've waited long to open it up because it has an item in here that I just love. And I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to find it here and I'll explain why. Okay, let's see here. Okay, now I can't remember what I ordered. Okay, let's see. I ordered the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. Like I need another palette. But I thought these colors were quite beautiful and I've just heard about Natasha Denona products being so good. And this has a good combination of mattes and shimmers. And I just thought, you know, what the heck, it was on sale. So I ordered that. I also ordered the Fenty Beauty. I think this is a lip product. It is. It's a lip product in a red, kind of a purpley red. Let's see how that looks on. Let me take my lip balm off. This could be frightening. That's nice. I like that. That is a nice color. I will be keeping both of those items. And here's the product that I'm most excited about. I had a lovely and wonderful, fantastic and all the good things you can uh, say trip. All the good words that you can use to describe a trip back in late 2017. And it was to France with my friend, Lindsay, who is one of my bestest friends in the world that I just adore and love. And it is a trip that I will probably share at some point online why it was such a special trip and even more so in hindsight. But one of the things that I wanted to purchase while I was there on this trip was some perfume. And I thought I would be buying me some French perfume, but I ended up buying something that's from Italy. Uh, but I bought it in a lovely little French perfumery. And it is the Aqua, Aqua, Aqua de Parma Blue Mediterranean perfume. And I have used the bottle that I've had and I've been out for probably about a year. So it lasted me about two years. And so I just got some more and I'm excited because I love this perfume and it just smells, it just reminds me of that trip and how much fun that trip was and how lovely it was. And it rem also reminds me of a lot that's gone on since then and how much I appreciate Lindsay and it, I just love it. So I'm really excited about this. This was a treat. Uh, this was not a, this was not inexpensive. This was a treat and I just finally broke down and did it. And I'm glad that I did because man, you have, it's a rarity that you can go on a trip to a foreign country and not be a tourist, but you can actually go and experience the country as a local. And that's kind of how this trip was for me. And it was just lovely. And I will never forget it. And I'm so glad that we went. So from Ulta, which is my last haul for this video, I've ordered several things. One, I've ordered the Clinique Dramatically Different Lipstick in the color Surprise. 
This is a basic in my makeup toolkit. And I can't find any of them, of the multiple tubes I have. I haven't been, I guess I'm out completely. This is my go-to all around favorite lipstick, hands down. It looks good on everyone. It is, it does not look like it does in the tube. It, it's a beautiful color. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a beautiful color, but it looks brown in the tube. But it doesn't look brown on your lips. It looks really beautiful on your lips. So about that, I bought a MAC uh, Frost lipstick. And I'm hoping this will be kind of the same thing, that this will be a lipstick. Again, it looks brown on the tube. I'm hoping that it doesn't go on quite as brown, and it doesn't. It's kind of the same. It goes on kind of a purpley pink with some bronze undertone. Roller Lash, I think this has become my favorite mascara, so I bought a refill on that. Tweezerman, I bought a Tweezerman spoolie for my eyebrows, because we all need eyebrow grooming tools. I bought a NARS, let's see, what did I get from NARS? I got a bronzing palette from NARS. I am out of my, um, Hula, not Huda, but Hula uh, Benefit bronzing. So I got the matte uh, bronzer from NARS. I'm not sure about this color. It looks really light. Um, we'll see. I might return that for a darker shade. I'm used to working with something a little bit darker. So I'm going to put that back in the box because that might go back. And then I bought a Laura Mercier highlighting palette. I'm getting tired, can you tell? I'm trying to fit too much into one video. So this is a Laura Mercier highlighting palette. And I am almost out of a highlighting palette that I got several years ago in a boxy charm box from pretty vulgar. So this is to replace that. So a lot of this is to replace existing items in my toolkit. So that is it for my haul today. And I hope that you have enjoyed this. It's a pretty long video and I apologize. I may try to edit some of the him and the hauls out or I may not. It just depends. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope that the sun has shined on you today. Has shined, has shown. I hope the sun has been on your shoulders. Let's put it that way. And uh, that you've had a great day. And if you haven't, just remember tomorrow's another day and you have control over whether it's a good day or not, all up here. So if you're having a bad day, start up here, try to reframe it, try to make it a good day. And one of the things that I do when I'm in a kind of in a bad mood to help me get out of a funk is I go through a drive through and I pay for the order behind me. So, um, or I do something nice for someone unexpected, total stranger. And uh, that always seems to kind of pull me out of my funk when I feel like I'm putting good out in the world. So you might want to try that if you're in a bad mood and you might be surprised at how good it makes you feel. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon. Bye.